Hi everyone. I hope your Thanksgiving was wonderful and uh, ours was nice. We, uh, my husband got four days off, so we uh, did a few things around the house. Uh, went and had dinner with my son and his family and um, kind of just laid around, watched TV, who knows, we just relaxed, relaxed, chilling out. And uh, I'm just down here kind of messing around with my heating pads to see how well they work. <clears throat> and um, I don't know why I was thinking that w this was supposed to control this heating pad. Um, I guess mainly it's uh, for... I guess mainly it's for just telling me how warm it's getting. Oh, maybe I ought to get the instruction book out and <laughs> read it. I'm good at that. I'm good at just trying to figure out things on my own instead of having to read it. Never was quite the reader. I It, it had to be very interesting or something really that kept my attention to read it. And I've read some really good books, but I'm not an avid reader. Um, I have this all organized, all my, all my dirt and potting soil. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I am going to start with some things this, you know, in December, probably mid-December, late December, I don't know, might be tomorrow, who knows, but there are some things that I may start early, like tall grass. I have some seeds from tall grass, and, uh, oh, hang on, guys, you know what, I, uh, let me show you my little setup in here, in this uh, bedroom downstairs I have my uh, grow lights on them and there's tomatoes these are from the clippings and my verbena that I brought in because she was still pretty green even after getting frosted and I'll, I'll trim her up and and just see I mean what's it gonna hurt um, these this ivy I got at my grocery store from a local vendor I think I'm not sure who brings in their plants and stuff well um, I got the big idea that I needed to put some uh, fertilizer for house plants in the water killed them killed them I've never put fertilizer in my house plants um, and I should just probably have left it that way so, uh, you know, maybe some people, but I think my, my dirt that I put in there and potting soil is probably good enough for what they need. So, uh, yeah, be careful. If you have potting soil that's already well nutrient, uh, uh, with, is good with nutrients, then I don't see where you would need to put anything else like fertilizer in your house plants. I put my house plants outside in the summer and that's where they get most of their growth. But I've repotted them and uh, I got, got them uh, bringing water up from the bottom. They're dry again already. And uh, I'm hoping that they'll grow, grow again. And I'm gonna to try to keep them good, good enough because see the leaves just dropping off of them. Not all of them, some of them are staying on now. But uh, if not, I'm gonna put them outside next year if they last that long and see if I can't get them going good again. All right, so much for that. I got strawberries, they're, they're putting on some new growth. They're happy down here right now. And um, 
the uh, tomatoes. These are the ones from uh, the clippings, and this is the one from the seeds when I was trying to make a new hydrangea. But that's all right. I got some tomatoes out of it. <laughs> Three plants. So I got a lot of other, a lot of other tomatoes that I want to grow too. So um, they'll fit right in. That's all right. Okay, let's. Um, uh, I was digging for my Christmas decorations in the shed. I found a few of them. I didn't find them all. I don't know what happened to a lot of them. They're probably down in a a box with something else. I don't know, but I got a few. I'm okay. good. I'm good. Uh, remember when I said I was going to get a potted plant, a uh, tree, a pot, potted Christmas tree this year, which I've done that before, um, like when my kids moved away and and stuff like that, and uh, but. Look, I went to di I went to the grocery store the other day after going to the doctor, and looky here. Isn't that cute? Isn't that the cutest thing? It's so cute. And it's already in the stand. It's not sucking up any more water, really. But you know what? As long as it lasts till Christmas, I'm happy. Because I can take it down right away. If, uh, but it feels healthy. It didn't feel stickery or anything. It felt real soft and ample. Um, so, and then I, I did get my little church. And then that part of my nativity scene. That's not all of it. I couldn't find the other part of it. And the little, little carolers. And, of course, Frank Sinatra. And my... My little Santa. That's about to go on the tree, but he's kind of heavy. But the kid, the little kids like that. All right. So much for my messy house. Um, I did take my flowers and I just stuck them in. And I kind of placed them in the the patho plant, and um, I used to do that a lot. And when I was a floral designer at Jewel in Chicago and uh, but I kind of made them all kind of this away because um, nothing much in the back because I wanted it mainly when somebody came in the house they could see all the poinsettias and holly and stuff like that so there you go but let me tell you I found a box Look what it says. Plant seeds. Plant seeds. Shall we open it and see what's in it? Goodness. I think I'm ready to check it out. You know, I bought some, uh, not to get off the subject, but I bought some uh, broccoli yesterday or the day before. And I cut it up last night, and I'm like, man, look how much I'm paying for. Because it's by the pound. I'm paying for that big old stem. So what I did is I just got, put, some, put it in some root grow. I'm going to see if it'll grow. Why not? I ain't doing anything anyway. <laughs> anything else? There you go. Anyway, I opened this box because I found it in the shed and it's plant seeds that I had packed away in case we moved. So we're just going to see what's in here. I'm turn the light on. Maybe you can see better. Um, oh, bulbs. I have a... Uh, it's a... Uh, Blue Lovers Blend Bulb Collection. So, I'll probably be putting them out this spring. I hope they're okay. I'll, I'll plant them anyway. 
Um, what's this in here? Just some seed. I think it's probably uh, marigold. Some seed in there. Um, okay. Um, little packets of stuff, and I didn't put what I, what was on them. What it is, I don't know what those seeds are. But they're little black seeds. They look like Snapdragon seeds. But I'll plant them, see if they grow. And uh, here is hmm. I am trying to remember what this is. Uh, I'm not sure, but Believe me, I will plant it, and we'll see what it is. I'm not 100% sure I know what it is. Boy, I wish I put my, uh, put what it was on there. I think I was kind of in a hurry last fall. And this is some purple flowers of some sort. So, mm. and this is I don't know what it's called but it's really pretty oh and they have black little black seeds like what was in that other packet so look at all those seeds in there. Oh yes, I'll be planting that. I'll be planting all these because yeah. it must have been stuff that I love. And there's a couple things thrown in here. Um, probably marigolds. I'm not 100% sure what those are. Sometimes marigolds, you can smell. No, I can't really smell them. Okay, let me put these back in the bag. How exciting. Finding, finding seeds that you forgot about. Alright, let's see what's in here. This is kind of heavy. Oh, I have uh, radishes. And uh, I bet these are beans. Bushes, bush beans. There we go. It's left over. goodies, I'm sure. Smells pretty. Mm. Oh, these are uh, maybe Karaspis. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll plant some and see what happens. Um, I think these are marigold. Wait a minute, I'm gonna sneeze. Something making me sneeze. <laughs> I want to, but. Yeah. Oh, this is marigolds. Marigolds and. Some kind of grass. I'm not sure. We will wait. 
Oh, this is a multicolor marigold. Okay. And then these are marigolds. Yeah. Okay, we'll put that back in the can. These are going to go downstairs in my seats. And uh, and I may get some early starts and some things. Because I'm very impatient. I'm excited about this this spring. I got hooks for hooks for other plant hangers. I've got some of them up already. I just didn't need all of them. And let's see. Oh, oh, that's good. Recipe box. That's what I was. I thought I'd seen one a while back. Um, these have. notes uh, just a little gardening notes and um, this is oh plumbed uh, coxcomb anything in there. Oh, there's some of, more of those black seeds. Might be coxcomb too. And I have some catnip seeds saved. Nice. Okay, I'm going to put them somewhere else because these are just notes and I'll be using these recipe boxes for different things. I'm going to put these in here. Mm -hmm. And some more 2021 flower seeds. Lots of marigold See, <laughs> I told you I had lots of marigold seeds. Right, Lucy? You can't wait either, can you? And uh, I think one is the really big marigold, the ones that get real tall. And these are for the small, the, uh, the smaller marigolds. So, there you go. How exciting is that? I've seen that in there. I'm like, oh my gosh. Take this downstairs. With all my other garden things. Exciting. And when I get to the point where I know that the seeds I gather uh, grow well, then, you know, if I get a lot of people wanting some of that, then. I'll, uh, I'll pack them up and share. But I have a lot of stuff in the works. I need to grow some roots okay. and see if I can't get some broccoli. Um, I may just put them downstairs under the grow lights too and see what happens. Maybe we'll do that right now. My begonia is looking so beautiful. I just absolutely love the color on this. I know you can't really see the color very well, but it's just pretty, so pretty. Okay, I'm in my mess here. I'm slowly but surely getting things put This felt a little dry. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Getting messy. I'm come down here and clean up a little bit. Well, you guys, not much else going on. Just, uh, I have everything pretty much set. Let's see how this feels. Oh, yeah. Feels pretty good. Nice and warm. I'm going to have a try to have a mat for uh, almost everything except maybe the cool weather thing uh, plants but like the tomato plants and strawberries I'll probably uh, or not the strawberries but the tomatoes for sure I'll have mats underneath them and uh, some of the other things that we start we had peppers yesterday and I just took the time to get a few seeds out of them. The red peppers and green peppers. I won't have so much seed. I save everything it seems like. I'm, I'm starting to save everything. <laughs> so, but if I can get it for free, what's wrong with that? That's great, getting it for free. So... Okay, you guys, I think that's it. There's just not much going on. I will be down here potting um, some of the, uh, and I'm going to use these buckets to pot the uh, tall grass in. So it can basically just stay in these pots, the bigger pots. And uh, uh, I might do some in these little mid-sized ones but uh, mostly I'm gonna put a few in these big pots and see if they grow for me I hope they do because I took seeds off of a lot of them so and also I found some seeds in other places like where my husband works um, there was a tall grass that I really liked it was so uniform and it stayed so uniform I thought it was really nice so I'm going to try growing some of that too. So anyway, you all have a wonderful day and uh, it's going to start getting cold now. We've had a few really nice days, but um, that cold front just came in and it's getting a lot cooler outside. So stay warm or stay cool wherever you're at and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye now.